so hello everybody, my name is Rodosolo from Curva.com. It is Monday, so it's time for another Power Query video. Okay, in today's Power Query video, we're going to talk about creating random numbers in Power Query. It sounds easier than it is, and I'm going to show you. Okay, so here we have the North Wind data set that we always use. And what we'd like to do is to create a random quantity numbers because we want to have, I don't know, numbers for past sales or whatever it is that you want the random number for. So there are actually two functions in, um, in Power Query that allows you to, or three, that allows you to create random numbers. You have a list random, and this will create a list instead of a table. And you have there the possibility to add a seed number that Basically, what it does is it, um, when you create a random number in Power Query, it, it will change on each step with this seed. You will be prevent that. Now, that works only for a list. If you are doing it for a table, you have two functions. You have number random and number random between. <laughs> the number random between allows you to say, okay, I want random numbers between this number and this number. This is the one that we're actually going to use. There's no seed number here though, so it is going to change for every step. Can't do anything about it. Okay, so let's let's go to our example. So here we have um not that one. Nope. Where do I have it? I have it here maybe. Here's our example. Okay, so we want to have a quantity random number. We go here at column, custom column, and we are going to do, we want quantities between 10 and 100. So we say, you write random. If you don't remember what it was, and then intelligence will give you the, the name of the function. And then you have button number and top number. So we want between one quantity and quantity 100. And there is no seed number here again. So we put it in there. Add custom, and then it will create a random number for each row. Works beautifully, right? So you're going to tell me like, what's the issue? What? Why? You say that it's not so straightforward. Well, this is where it starts to get hairy. You know, to do a random number syntax is like, like these. Here is a little bit more complicated. If I move this up, so we go to source. We go to navigation and then we create the uh, random number. Here we have again the number, random number, one for each row, no problem. Now we go to the next step in there, which is remove the columns that we don't want. And we have to bring back our custom, our random uh, column. You see that? the same number for each row. So depending on where you create your random number, this is going to happen to you. So if you just create it from the beginning and you have an index column and you create it, it will create it correctly, otherwise it will not. How you can fix that? Because you know you might say, okay, I put it at the end of my query and done, right? Well, yes, but... Here's, here's another thing. Let me show you before I move on. Uh, if I put this to text, let's add another. It says 53 there, right? Now it says 8. I'm going to put this to uh, text too. And then this is 60. So on each step, the random number is changing. And this is what the seed uh, parameter on the list random could, you know, fix. So it doesn't change. Here you can't. So it will change. It is a random number. Maybe it doesn't matter, but just as you're aware that it will change. So how do you pick this same number? Easy trick is to actually add a index column after you create the random number. So you put it in there. It is now calculating the index column you can see there. So now we have random number. We have the index column. Remove all the columns. It's going to remove the index, but it's going to keep our random number. You have a 72 there. We have a new step. It will continue changing. There's no way to to fix that, that behavior. It will change. It will change an each step. 
which is, you know, probably not so good if your table is very big. Uh, but in that case, you need to use the least and use the seed number. And that gets complicated depending on what you're trying to do. So, yeah. <laughs> this is the way that random numbers work in Power Query. A little bit more tricky. You might say, I'll just do it in DAX and get over with. Yeah, yes, you can do that. You can definitely do it in DAX. I have a video showing how to do that in DAX. But remember, it's always better to do uh, um, columns, calculate columns in Power Query. I have a video coming on that, on a DAX Fridays video. You'll see it very soon. So in this case, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it is better to do in DAX anyway, because it is changing on each step. But it's a thousand rows only. So no, do the Power Query anyway. I'm going to stop talking. Okay, so I'll see you again on one day with another Power BI video. Until then, take care, and I hope this video was useful. Bye.